What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Minecraft Survival. I keep wanting to say Pokemon Hardcore. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, um, first thing, I want to make another map. The sound is still off. That's weird. Turn that back on. I had it off because I was grinding zombies, and the zombies like to go too much, so I muted them. They're like the annoying kids on Xbox Live. They make pretty much the same sound. So we're going to make another map, and I want it to be centered right here. Derp. What? Why is it the same as my other map? It's already filled in. It should be a new map. Um, do I not understand how maps work? I thought they started filling in and put you at the center of them from where you started. Why don't... Why didn't I get a new blank map? Hmm. Let me try again. Oh, I don't have enough paper, do I? I can make some paper. I'm perplexed by this. I want to solve this problem before we continue here. So I'll just make some more paper and try this again. Maybe I need to not have the other maps in my inventory when I do this. Let's try that. I don't know, Minecraft does some silly things sometimes, so who knows. Again! Hmm, okay, I don't know how maps work anymore. That's weird. If someone knows what I'm doing wrong there, let me know. I, I'd like to make a new map that's centered at my house here. But apparently you can't do that. Or at least I'm not doing it right. Alright, so let's start getting stuff done here. I'm going to make some tools... Because in this episode, we're going to make a chicken farm. We're going to attempt a chicken farm, at least. I'm hoping it's not going to turn into the the mess that the other chicken farm, or that the sheep farm turned into in terms of how much work it took. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go out here, and I'll show you guys where I have the chickens right now. That You remember I put them in that hole in the sheep farm episode? They're all stuck down in that hole right there. I don't know how many we've got. Let me get my wheat, because I'm going to need to breed a few chickens at least. Because I think for this to be efficient, I'm going to want at least 27 chickens. That's what I was approximating when I looked at the, the schematics I'm sort of thinking of. So I'm going to start by trying to make more chickens in this little hole down here. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could bring them out. I could make the hole a little bit bigger. That wouldn't be a big deal, I don't think. And it might make things a little bit more convenient for us. Let's try to avoid the mobs if we can here. So yeah, all the chick chicks are stuck down in a hole down there. So I'm just going to expand it a little bit. Yeah, it's sort of a, a bummer because... Come here, chickens. I got a piece of wool. That's all I have. I'm trying to get everybody to come in here. Because they sort of broke into a creeper hole over there, it seems. Come back here, chickens. I know there's more of you in there. Yes, come out. Come out, you. Oh god, now I have to get out of here without taking the chickens with me. Hey. Can't touch this. So now I just lock that chicken away for... Hey, 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 come out of there. Come out of there, chickens. Come on. You guys want some wheat? There we go, fill that in. And then I just do this. Oh, now that was some ninja stuff right there. Bet you haven't seen that one done before. Oh, Angry Poncho, bringing unique shit into Minecraft. There we go, so now it's a little bit larger. Alright, now let's make some baby chickens. So many hearts! Oh god, I can't even see what's happening down there anymore. Hopefully it's lots of baby chickens being made. It looks like at least three or four babies. Possibly more. One of those chickens is still interested in wheat. I don't know. Whatever, leave them alone. So now I want to make another farm similar to this one in design in that I plan to make it in the mountainside. But this one, rather than being long and short, is going to be short it's going to be short and tall. That's a weird combination, but it's basically going to be nine blocks wide and nine blocks tall. No, that's not right. No, it's going to be three, seven blocks wide and seven blocks tall. Or excuse me, seven, seven wide, seven long, and, and as tall as I need. 
So I think I'm going to start by digging into the landscape, but I'm not sure where I want to put the chicken farm. That's the question. I'd like it to be near the sheep farm. And honestly, I, I could make it under the sheep farm if I wanted to. It wouldn't be that hard, actually, to make it under the sheep farm. I think I'm going to do that, because... Well, you know, I, I got a lot of mountainside here. There's no need for me to go down into the depths. Depth. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is turn off the rain, and then I'm just going to dig in somewhere. Here I actually have a tunnel that goes back behind my sheep. You can see I put, I put a bunch of grass back here. Or I, I, I let the grass grow all the way back here, so that it would spread back out where the, where the sheep are. With torches as well, because it sort of backlights the area. Hello, Zomble. Let me put this back. I'm gonna punch you to death with an axe. And then with my punching. So I'm gonna do some shopping around here. So let's see. I want it to be pretty close to the sheep farm. But it's gonna need, need to be a little bit taller than you might think. So let's start by putting one space in between. And then I'm gonna dig in here. I got my picks and such. Yeah, see, I don't want to hit this tunnel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over one more and dig it in over here. But I want to be able to go up high enough, so I need to go in a few more blocks, I think. Probably about five more should do it. Two, three, four, five. We'll do six. We'll do six more. So we'll go into here. Okay, so this will be our walkway to get the sheep, or excuse me, to get the chickens to come in here. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting the door to it, either in the sheep farm, in the back of the sheep farm, or, or in here or something. Or honestly, I, I could put a door right here. It's just whatever works out. Yes, so now I'm going to make this 7 by 7, and then I'm going to dig up, and I will cut in. And I have dug out this hole. Alrighty then, here is a room that is 3 by 7. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going sort of up and around. And I'm going to continue making this room taller. And I guess I don't need to make a staircase yet, because I can dig up, I think, five blocks straight in the air. Oh shit! How did a creeper get all the way in here? Are you kidding me? Okay, looks like the sheep farm is fine. That's good news. A creeper walked all the way down this hallway. That is impressive, Mr. Creeper. I shall give you points for style and for sheer doggedness and determination. That was a pretty good creep. I gotta be honest, I didn't even see him. So he may, have, he may have been captured on film, but I didn't see him before he blew up. Handy that he did not kill any sheep. I'm gonna knock these torches off. That looks good. I, this, I can hear this weird sound when I'm talking, and I think it's my voice, like, echoing in my sinus cavity or something, because it's making my head feel weird. I was sick the other day, and I still feel a little bit weird. Well, hell, I guess if the sheep put a freaking hole that big in the floor, I might as well go down one layer instead of up one. Just put more space in. So that's the progress so far, and I will continue uh, digging up until I have, like, six blocks, I think, of height. Alrighty then, we are back in the land of buying sheep, and we have a 6x7x7 six by seven by seven room. Now, what I want to get going in the bottom here is a sort of collection area. Because there's going to be a 3x3 three three grid that drops chicken eggs down. So I want to be able to collect all of those in one place. And so I'm going to put an edge around this room. Sort of a skirt along the walls. And then I'm going to go and get some buckets of water. Like, um, five buckets of water. Alright, turns out we only have, uh, two buckets of water, but that's pretty much infinite, so I'll just make a little spring out here. And we'll take these guys in one at a time. Now, what I want to happen is to have one source block in each of these places. So we'll just make a few trips here and try to ignore the sheep as much as we can. They're loud. Bang. 
you say that buying, it sounds almost like buying the what you call it, it's hard to avoid the um the diphthong. It's difficult to avoid in that particular word, I think. Okay, well. This isn't exactly as beautiful as I pictured it. I'd like all the water to be going sideways at the end. So maybe a change in size is in order. I do believe so. I'm going to make the room two blocks longer. Alrighty then. That has fixed the problem. So the water is now flowing right to where I want it to. Which is perfect. So now I'm going to use... Oh, it's raining. Perfect. I'm going to use my spring to continue to expand this little area. And I don't know, I really don't know if I need to put these water blocks in just yet, but I want to show you what's going to happen here. It is a bit premature, honestly, with the water, but we'll get, we'll get to it. So we'll do that. So now we have all five of them in place and the water runs down here. So we're going to go ahead and put a channel in down here to funnel the water direction, the direction that we want it to go. Which, of course, is going to be out this direction here. Put that torch back. Put you down here. So, I need to go a little bit farther, it looks like. Two more seems appropriate. Okay. So, you walk in here, and you sit right here. And the idea is that you sit here, and get as many chicken eggs as you like while you're AFK. So, with that in mind, we continue. Because the chicken eggs are going to be falling into where this water is. Now, again, to aid in my building, I'm going to go ahead and actually remove these. I just wanted to show you that that's what's going to happen in the end. So now we need to build our chicken holders. Which are these delightfully uh, inhu <laughs> inhumane things, but they're pretty cool. Actually, you know what I can do? I can make this have a bucket of water under it so I don't have to go back as far back here. So I'll put, I'll put stairs in these places. Alright, so here's how this goes. We need to have space to put a sign underneath. And so they have to go above a block like this. So, hello. Let me actually start from the doorway so I can get a good guide. So we're going to go every other square like that. And there will be a chicken in each of these places. So now I do a solid row. So we have our, our dotted row and then a solid row. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put a bucket of water here. But I'm going to have a sign on the wall here, which will keep the water from flowing down. So now we're going to continue in this pattern. Dotted row. And then a solid row. I can tell my voice sounds weird. That's what happens when I have a, a messed up, like a virus. You're like a virus. Oh god, I love the way he says that line! It's worth getting sick just to think about how humanity is like a virus. A virus. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got our dotted rows and stuff. So let me go up here and show you what this looks like from above. So this actually might be enough just as one layer. Although it's, it's, it's easily extensible with a little bit of staircasing. So now what we do is we're going to put a bucket of water, like I say, in each of these places. And then we're going to put a chicken in here. But in order to keep him from running free like the crazy, crazy chicken he is. We need an alternating pattern of blocks like this to keep them from jumping out of their holes. So you can see that their living conditions are spectacular. Eee, tippy to living space! Not as bad as a genie, but it could be worse. Or so, it could be worse. So we'll continue this away. I'm a, I'm a swing it this away. And now that's finished. Okay, good. This will fall through here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the block I placed there and pick up that annoying piece of water. So now I need to put a block underneath all of these where there's a hole. So it's going to go down like this three times in each row. And then, oh, looks like we need to go one more. One more row. Like that. So now we're going to put signs on the sides of these. So we're going to need, what, three by one, two, three, four, five, six? Really? Six? Wow, I didn't know I'd made this that large. Let me see. 
So there's one, two, three, four... No, just five. What am I, what am I doing? Yeah, just five. That's what I thought. So three by five. So we'll have 15 chickens living in here. Put that back. Which means we might be pretty close to having all of them bred out here. Oh, that rain is so irritating. Put that bucket away. Let's see what's going on over here. Hey guys, you want some wheat? Make baby chickens. You get a baby chicken. You get a baby chicken. Everybody gets a baby chicken. There we go. That's enough for me. Now they're going to take a while to grow to full size, so we'll just let them do that. Meanwhile, we need fences. Uh, excuse me, not fences, signs. Ladders will also work, I think, and uh, trap doors that are open. I think they work too, but I prefer signs. Because I think things can get caught on the trap doors and such, so a sign might be preferable. I hear a zombie, and I should not be able to hear a zombie. Where is he? How did you get in here, Mr. Zombie? You crazy bastard, I'm gonna chop you apart. With an axe! Which hammers were included in the game? Maybe we need one more chandelier? Oh, there's an egg over there. I want that. But not that much. Okay, so, signs. I don't think we have much wood, do we? It would be in here. 34 fences. And new wood. Alright. Give me my saplings. We're gonna make a tree farm. Just a temporary one, so that I can get a bunch of, uh... Wood. With the timber mod, this is gonna be pretty straightforward, so... I actually might just do it out in my yard here. So let's put this down, and then... BOOM! It's a tree! Love it. I pick up some wood. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I think I can do the same thing, even if it's, like, retardedly blocked. Yeah, so you can still just go crazy. Derp. Getting some lag. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Not exactly efficient in terms of the amount of bone meal that you have to use to get this stuff, but... Still cool. Fast way to get some, uh... What you call it? Wood. How much wood did we get out of that? 17? Make it into planks. Gonna want a little bit more than that, I think. A timber mod is what makes this efficient. So, sapling, bone meal, timber. Beautiful. Alright, put the dirt back. There we go, that's two stacks. There should be plenty. Let's... Excuse me, tree. <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Tree! to get back to my house now. Is there any more wood up here that I missed? I wouldn't think so with the timber mod. Oh, that's a couple blocks of wood that I missed. Take those. And that's just decay on its own. Might even get a few apples out of it. So let's make some more sticks, just to make sure we have enough here. We need to have 15, right? I think we got enough. Yeah, just enough, it seems. Alright. Signs! How many did we make just then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it seems. Okay, hopefully that'll be just right. Is there anything else I'm going to need? I got enough wheat to lure, to lure them in. I got all my signs. I got food. I got buckets. That should be everything I need. Let's head back down. Got a lot of signs. I'm going to make it daytime, just so we don't have to balls around with the mobs while I'm building this. We do combat in the combat videos, so I'm not going to bugger with it at this point. Alright, so let me step in here. And put the signs up. Oh, this is going to be fun. Put all the signs on my hotbar, please. There we go. And now... You get a sign. You get a sign. And it's funny, because you get to click done at it each and every single time. So satisfying. So you put a sign on each of these pieces that hangs down. So from above, you got a hole with four blocks around the edges, and then a sign. This is going to work out nicely. Now, there are other ways to do chicken farms. Honestly, you can just put all your chicken in a big river and have the them all be swimming constantly, just pushing with a current. I prefer this method because it's really easily extensible. Oops, I don't want stuff to, I don't want the signs to say anything. 
Uh, actually, it would be funny if a sign said things. I think I've seen pictures of. Uh, I saw a post on Reddit that had their pig farm, and it had a bunch of quotes from Animal Farm on signs. That was pretty clever. Okay, so now we need a way to get the chickens in here. Which is going to mean some craziness. So I'm going to start by going up here. And we are going to have to make a really awkward staircase for this to work. And I'm going to have to replace that sign with a cobblestone block temporarily. Oh shit, there's a creeper in here! Oh, balls. You kidding me, man? I did not think that was going to happen. I'm not thinking, I guess. Alright, it's easy to rebuild, though. Let me just do that real fast. Okay, I do believe I've fixed it so that it's not a problem now. And uh, what I'm going to do is dig straight out of the side of the mountain until we hit air. Because I'm interested in getting the chickens up here on top of this device. Now this is one opportunity where you might think, hey, let's build this underground, make things easier for ourselves. I wanted to, I wanted to do it on the surface just because I, I like to have the collection area be at the same height as my buildings. And the chicken hole's just over there, so it should be easy to lure them up the mountain and into this place. Now, really, what I'm going to want to do is cover up the holes. Honestly, I could make the parts that don't have holes be smooth just to make this really easy for myself. Honestly, cobblestone is so cheap that I have no qualms about wasting it. Just willy-nilly placing cobble. There we go. So you see, I, I, look how much I picked up just making this place. I mean, obviously there's enough to fill in everything. So now I just need to lure a chicken into each hole. And that's all there is to it, really. So, how do I want to do this? I'll start by putting the water in the holes. So I think from now on, I'm not going to need to mess with... Ooh, I see a spider out there. I'm not going to need to mess with the holes. Let me put this sign there. That's what got lost. Shouldn't be a piece of cobble down there. There should be a sign. Show me a sign. That's not a song. What are you talking? What are you talking? What are you saying? What are you talking about? What are you talking? Okay. So now I'm going to need to get 5 plus 15 plus 1, 21 buckets of water. See you guys in a second. Alrighty then, I have now put all the water in place. So we've got all the places that have that need to have water have it, including the flowing bits underneath. So, hello, Spoida. I keep hearing all that walking over there, thinking it's a monster. It's just the friggin' chickens. Give me your spider eyes. Okay, now I need to get chickens up into this hole here. So this could be a little bit weird. What I'm gonna do is try and make it so that they'll funnel in here if at all possible. Alright, take the wheat with us. So the goal is to get one chicken in each hole. Which you know, easier said than done. So what I can do is if I want to, I can cover up did I miss one? Oh god, it looks like I missed one. Okay, I'll remember to fill that in when we come back in. Yeah, so cover up all of the holes except for the, like the except for one of them and then just lure a chicken into that hole now let's be smart about this and mark where the holes are should should be pretty easy to keep track of right just an alternating pattern alrighty then this will do that so I'm trying to get a chicken in this hole once I put some water in there Me and you. So we will fill this in. Kaboosh. Nope, nope, nope. Down there. And then lure some chickens in here. If we need to, we can do this a bunch of chickens at a time. But it ends up working out for us. Do we have 15 chickens? I do believe we have. Let me get you guys to derp. Stop. Stop it. Let me out of the pen. Gobble. 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 Thank you. I asked them nicely in chicken tongue. Come, follow me. Hey, you guys want some wheat? So what we don't want to do is get more than one chicken into the same hole. 
It's easier said than done. Now, thankfully, chickens are fairly intelligent in that they won't walk into a hole on their own. You have to lure them with wheat. So I'm going to try and lure just one into this hole. Nope, I got two. Nope, I got three. Nope, that's four. Yes! This is going so well. Okay, I obviously brought way too many chickens in here at one time. Okay. <laughs> so now in order to... I mean, honestly, that's fine. I can have that many in one hole if I want. But it's sort of like defies my, my schema. So I think I can actually just free them. Free chickens! Oh, balls. This is what you. This is how you repay me. Thank you so much. Now they're all going to get washed down here. Which is fine, because they'll they'll follow me out if I leave them to eat. Get out of the way, silly chicken. Now it's raining again. Stop that. Okay, yeah, it's too many chickens. Probably got enough chickens still up here just to lure one into this hole. I've already got one in that hole. Alright, great. So now what I can do is I can cover the hole up. Sorry, chicken. I know your life is hard. Alright. You there, Mr. Chicken. Would you like to go in hole number two? Come. Enter the hole. Thank you. Brunk. And you see how this pattern goes. We continue luring them into holes like the silly, silly chickens that they are. And I will cut back in when I'm luring the last chicken. Alrighty then. Here's how many holes I've filled in so far. It's all but six of them. So three-fifths done. More than halfway there. Things are going well. So I'll let you know that I'm already picking up loads of eggs. And we have a bunch more upstairs. I've got a bunch of chickens out here that are babies. And the babies, of course, are not at all interested in wheat. Since it's meant to be like luring them to breeding. So I'm just going to lure the, the last adult in here. And then we'll wait for the other ones to grow up before we imprison them. Now, covering up the tops of the holes is, of course, not required for this. It just makes it really a lot easier to get the chickens to go into the right hole. There we go. See, if there's only one hole, they really can't go wrong. But once they're all in there, feel free to remove these blocks if you wish. It really doesn't make a difference. The animals in Minecraft don't have feelings. You don't have to feel bad. There's another adult over here. Come on, guys. You want some wheat? Looks like this joker's stuck in the big hole over here. You can make it out of there. Yay! Chicken freedom. Solidarity, my brother. Get you out of that place. Let's see if they can both make it up here. Nope, only the smartest will survive. And by survive, I mean get trapped in my chicken farm. Did he already go down? No, he's not in here yet. Ooh, this is the hole. They have this weird tendency to veer to the left once they get nearer to you. So you need to stand some distance away from the hole so that they'll just walk right into it like that. It's better than standing right next to the hole, where they'll get up to the edge of it and then suddenly walk around it as they try and circle you. Just some advice. Okay, so let me clear this spot. Watch out, Mr. Chicken. I'm going to lure him from back here. Oh, he missed it. Oh, chicken. Come on now. Get in there. Get in the hole. Get in the hole, Mr. Chicken. There you go. Good job, Chicken Little. Chicken Soup. So now we've got three holes left. I think that with 16 eggs in my inventory, I might be able to just get them to spawn in here. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. Okay, great. Looks good. So now, like I say, you can remove the tops if you want, but forget it. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and put these on, too, actually, just because I can. There we go. So now the chicken farm is nice and secure. It's very stable in here. Nothing weird going to be happening. Let's fill in the rest of the creeper damage. And that's it. That's chicken farm. Kabam. Let's see how well it's been working. Just in, like, the ten minutes I've been up here, see if it put any eggs out for me. We'll need to put a nice door on the front, but... Yeah, look at this. So I got seven, uh, eight eggs right now. Pick up to eleven, so there's three. So, of course, you just go get, you go AFK and just stand here, and bada-bing, bada-boom, chicken lays an egg, and it'll fall down through the water and end up down here and wash right over to you. Now, the reason this works is that animals will always swim up to the top of things, except for a couple, I think, like the iron golem... I believe will not. He will sink to the bottom of things. 
if you don't know about iron golems yet, look on the Minecraft wiki. They're pretty much straight out of Castle in the Sky, which makes me just so happy. Laputa. Very, very good movie. If you guys don't know about Hayao Miyazaki and his animated films created through Studio Ghibli, you need to check it out. They're pretty much awesome. Alright, so... That's done. <laughs> Another thing on the to-do list. To check. Very nice. So now we've got loads and loads of eggs. Which I suppose I could use those to expand the chicken farm if I didn't feel like luring more chickens in. Which is a good idea. So yeah, and it, it works because the chickens won't swim down through the water. But they can't get out of that hole while they're swimming. Plus putting the cap on the top pretty much ensures that they're not going to be able to glitch their way out. And so then it's just sort of an infinite chicken farm. Now, of course, if you stand in there and you're nearby, like if the chunk is loaded in memory, pretty much, it's going to do the, 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 you know, the loaded chunk deal, and it's going to update, and the chickens are going to lay eggs. But if those eggs end up laying on the ground for more than about five minutes, I think it's five minutes when they disappear. So you got five minutes to come get them. So if you don't want to come and check every five minutes, you can just let them disappear. It's not a big, not a really big deal. You can use the chicken farm as you choose. But if you want to get a whole bunch of eggs, you can just go AFK with your game at the inventory screen, just standing like this. And then you'll be able to get as much as pretty much as many eggs as you like, just standing there AFK. And if your inventory fills up, there's no problem, it's not gonna crash the game, it's not gonna bug out by putting too many entities in one place, because the eggs that are dropped will disappear after a certain amount of time. Five minutes. Oh, didn't get anything from that egg. Okay. And you can see it produces them at a pretty decent rate. So there's only 15 chickens in there right now. If I wanted to make the farm larger, all I would have to do is take this three block high, uh, or it's a floor, four block high structure, and build the exact same thing above here, with the caveat that I need to remove these blocks so that the chicken's eggs will fall from this hole where a chicken would be, straight down through that chicken's hole, and then into the water on the bottom. So I suppose it does make sense to remove these. So that's pretty much all I wanted to do in this episode. I think off-screen I will expand this chicken farm. I'll put one more layer on top. And again, this, that's why I chose this, this design, is because it's really easily extensible in that way. You can make it as large as you like, pretty much, and it seems that if I go up from there, I'm not going to pop out of the side of the mountain or anything. I'm probably also going to do a little bit of a facelift on this bottom part here to cut in this mountain just a little bit, but that's boring terraforming stuff, so I won't make you watch it. The end result will just be that there will be a nice little hallway here with a door for this chicken farm. But the functional bit of it is done, and I really don't care how it looks, honestly. It just has to work. The only part I care about looks on is when I stand over here and I look and look at my castle, and I say, ah, how's the castle look? Well, the answer better be, oh, it looks damn good, sire. <laughs> That's always the right answer to that question. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope my nice uh, head cold didn't make the commentary too unbearable. Ah, uh, baby chicken. And if you can be arsed to follow me and shit, I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Minecraft Survival.